So you want to control the weather in Unreal Engine with your musical instruments like a god, but aren't sure where to begin? Well, with some blueprint templates, a plugin called OSC Par, Ultra Dynamic Sky, and a bit of custom scripting via implemented interfaces, you too can control the time of day, cloud coverage, fog amount, and many more variables like an omniscient god, all from either automation data or MIDI controllers. But first, some prerequisites, as there are a few assets needed in order to get things up and running. The first being, some blueprints as supplied by the Sem Interests AV Club. These are needed as it contains a router that allows the incoming OSC data to be received by Unreal, as well as a few blueprints that allow us to take advantage of the MIDI, envelope follower, and macro automation signals that Ableton outputs. The second variable needed is OSC PAR. This plugin allows us to define the values that the macro data will operate within. This gives the most flexibility as it allows you to dial in specific ranges, as opposed to needing to rescale the 0 to 1 data once inside Unreal. Then, the third and final asset needed is Ultra Dynamic Sky from the Epic Marketplace. This blueprint will allow us to quickly dial in lighting while also providing us with every variable you could possibly wish for when it comes to dialing things in, which is super handy because by the end of the tutorial, we'll modify this blueprint so you too can then modulate these parameters with OSC PAR. So to get started, let's boot up a new Ableton session and then load OSC PAR as a MIDI plugin. Once the plugin is loaded up, we need to change the OSC address, OSC address space, host IP, and port address so the router in Unreal can parse all the incoming information as its stock values and address aren't what we need for this example. After that's all set up, let's quickly draw in some automation data on top of mapping a MIDI controller to OSC PAR for demonstration purposes. As it's not only possible to control Unreal parameters with Ableton's automation, but also with MIDI controllers providing you map the variables to the appropriate knobs, sliders, and buttons. Now that the Ableton side of things is good to go, let's hop over to Unreal Engine and start getting things set up there. First, let's create a new level, then delete everything that isn't the floor and replace it with the Ultra Dynamic Sky Blueprint. After that, add the router blueprint as supplied by the Sem Interests AV Club. Once those variables are in the scene, let's take the macro blueprint template and start building the first connection blueprint. Now, in order to get things working, we need to make use of what's called an implemented interface. This interface is what allows us to use one blueprint to control another blueprint, as a single blueprint from the template examples can only take in one channel of OSC data at a time. This means you must use separate blueprints for each of the variables you wish to control, which all then tunnel into the one instance of Ultra Dynamic Sky. With that established, the first connection point we'll build will be for the time of day. Type get all actors with interface and then add the node into the blueprint editor. From there, connect it to the output of the branch node. Next, right click in the content browser, scroll to blueprint, then add a blueprint interface. Then rename it to implemented interface time of day so we won't lose track of it. Once the blueprint interface is created, click on it, then rename the new function to time of day. Then scroll down and add one input, which should then be changed to input float data. After that, rename the input to slash macro slash one slash one slash value, which if you remember from earlier, is the same address we used to define the desired OSC PAR channel. Once that's all done, compile the interface and hop back over to the blueprint. Click on the class settings cog wheel and go to the right side of the screen. Here you'll see a tab called implemented interfaces. Click on the add button and then type in implemented interface time of day. Once that's added to the new blueprint, you should notice a new interfaces tab appear on the left side of the screen under the my blueprint tab. In the blueprint editor, right click and type in time of day, then select time of day message under the class tab. Once the node is added into the blueprint, connect to the get all actors with interface node 
and connect the macro input to the value output. Then finally add implemented interface time of day under the interface tab on the get all actors with interface node. This should conclude setting up this blueprint, which leaves us with needing to modify the original Ultra Dynamic Sky blueprint. So head over to the Ultra Dynamic Sky blueprint and click on the class settings cog wheel again. Under the same implemented interface tab, add the implemented interface time of day blueprint we built earlier. This is also where you'll add any additional interfaces you build for controlling other desired aspects of Ultra Dynamic Sky. Once that's been added, head over to the left side of the screen and go to the newly created interfaces tab. Right click on the time of day and choose the implemented interface option. This will then add the implemented interface into the Ultra Dynamic Sky blueprint. From here, type in transition time of day and click the option that appears under the utilities function tab. This will then add the final node we need to set everything up. Change the transition duration to zero so everything reacts immediately, easing function to linear for a steady transition rate, and then the easing component to zero. After all of that is changed and connected to the newly created implemented interface, everything should be good to go. If you wish to control other parameters of Ultra Dynamic Sky on top of the time of day example, just follow the same steps that I outlined but rename the variables to match what you wish to alter instead. So with all of that being said, you should now be able to control the weather like a god with your DAW of choice, MIDI controllers, and MIDI instruments. If anyone has any questions or ideas for future videos they'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thanks!